Hi everybody, uh, I just wanted to do a really quick video. Okay, so I'm picking up on some energy in the field today. And instead of going into detail about what it is, I just wanted to remind you that you are everything that you need. Okay, you are a bright light and as with any flame you can fan it and it can grow and it can expand and it can encapsulate everything around it. I feel that Merlin is really making himself known to people right now. His energy is growing so strong. Um, I know there are many different channels, many different people who are connecting in with him. Um, I'm sure many of you are connecting in with him. And I feel that there is a reason for this. So this next phase that we step into, it's really, really about inner mastery. It's about embodying the alchemist embodying the alchemist. I feel that we will be faced with many things along our path, along the ascension pathway, and it will require our discernment and it will require us to remain very, very present, very strong, very stern within our own light you know, to remain within the eye of the storm and not get caught up within, <sighs> I'm seeing a washing machine, not get caught up within the actual storm, you know, don't get blown around, don't get thrown against trees, don't, don't get sucked in, okay, throughout this entire pathway, it just is so important just to feel your light, feel your power. You are immensely powerful. You have all the light that you need and you can switch it on just with your intention. If you wanna ramp it up, ramp it up. You can do it. Stand in the mirror, stand in the mirror and look at yourself. Feel all the light that you have in your body. I was thinking about this yesterday Every single one of your cells is bioluminescent. It's filled with light. Think about the trillions of cells that you have in your body. You are just this untapped potential. You are waiting, waiting to expand. And as you walk down the street, you can just go, boom. I choose to expand my light so that every person who walks past you feels your light. They are showered with your light. It's really, it's really important right now. Um, I wanted to share a little bit of Atlantean magic, uh, particularly if you are living in a more densely populated area. Um, I think if you're out in the countryside, you may not feel the density quite so much. But within more populated areas, I'm definitely feeling it where I'm living. Um, and as I was walking into my town earlier, I started to speak in my mind an incantation which puts up a force field. Um, and I tuned into that and why. Um, and, I and I thought to myself, I'm going to share this because I want to empower um, I want people to feel empowered. I want people to remember their power. It's there, it's untapped, it's dormant. Or maybe it's not dormant, I don't know. Maybe you're living it every single day. But if you're not, I really want you to remember that it's there. And that if you need to, you can call upon anyone, any one of us, anyone within the group that you know, or reach out to people um, within the Sundisc group, reach out to me. We're all there to support each other. That's why we're here, that's why we're awake, that's why we found each other now, because our souls have called to each other. So don't forget that you can call upon, you can call upon us. 
Okay, so I will speak the incantation and I will write it um, in the comments for you. Okay, so you may be called to speak it three times or, or perhaps more, but you, you may, you may visualise it, you may see it as you're speaking it. You may not. Everybody's different. Okay, so here we go. I che rama, to che mala ra yot sola yepe. I che rama, to che mala ra yot sola yepe. I che rama. Do che mala ra yot sola yepe. This is really, really powerful. And with your intention, you can expand this field. Um, it's strong. So if you feel called to do that, then do it. It's all, it's all with love. It's all done with love. This is just maintaining your energy field okay i also have another one um this one is to call forth your dragon your fire dragon okay um my lovely dragon is called haracha and he's actually gone through a period of upgrading himself so he used to be a lovely orange color and now he's He's still got a hint of orange, but he's he's like covered in diamonds and sparkly and is really beautiful. It's always beautiful. He's got a lovely energy. Um, but you can work with your dragon to help build that that flame, you know, to really fuel it, to feel the inner mage. Every one of us has an inner mage, you know, that inner belief, that inner knowing, that inner understanding that you are powerful. You can do anything. Any situation that comes comes knocking at your door, you can handle. You are strong. But if you want to call forth your dragon and work symbiotically with that fire, with their fire, you can. Okay, so this um, this will call them forward. Akba. Yesh Berezi Akba Yesh Berezi Akba Yesh Berezi Okay, I can feel, I can feel Racha here. It's really, um, it's really lovely. There are so many tools at our disposal, so many so many lovely energies that are here to assist and we are never alone so yeah just remember your power and if you feel like you you may be having an off day you may be feeling tired i know i definitely feel tired today it feels like i'm traipsing through a swimming pool Everything feels a little bit harder, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm still happy. And even if I wasn't, that's okay too. Because this isn't an easy process. I think sometimes we forget that we came down here to do such a miraculous thing, such a big thing. And it's difficult, physically and mentally. But you're doing it. We're all doing it and we're doing it together. So don't forget your inner power. And have a lovely day. Have a lovely 1010 portal. Sending you so much love. Bye.